It has long been a dream of aircraft designers to create an airplane that not only can fly long ranges at high speeds and carry heavy cargo but can also take off, hover and land like a helicopter. Such a plane would have the flexibility to handle many different types of military missions and would also have civilian and commercial uses. The V-22 Osprey is such a vehicle. This versatile craft has been developed for the military by Bell Boeing aircraft. Through the use of a tilt rotor, the Osprey can take off and land like a helicopter, but convert to a turboprop airplane while in flight. The aircraft's rotors can fold, and the wings can rotate so it can be stored on an aircraft carrier. The Osprey is a type of vertical takeoff and landing aircraft with a tilt rotor design. The vertical takeoff and landing concept is an old idea stemming from the German Air Force at the end of World War II. After the war, the US Navy developed two experimental VTOL fighter aircraft, the Pogo, and the Salmon. However, the programs were cancelled because of technical difficulties. In 1958, the US Air Force developed the Bell 15-3, which was the first successful vertical takeoff and landing to hover, it was not tested in airplane flight. After the 15th-3 program proved that the tilt rotor concept was feasible, Bell developed the 15th-15 tilt rotor that was tested by NASA. In July 1979, the 15th-15 became the first aircraft to tilt from helicopter to airplane and back. It was also capable of traveling 346 miles per hour, 557 kilometers per hour, in airplane mode. The success of the test leads to the expansion of the program, which was subsequently renamed the V-22 Osprey. There are three configurations of the Osprey depending upon what it's being used for, such as search and rescue, medium-range assault or long-range special operations. While three branches of the US Armed Forces, the Marines, Navy and Air Force, will use the Osprey, Bell is also exploring its design for possible civilian uses. The Osprey has two, large, three-bladed rotors that rotate in opposite directions and produce lift. Because the rotors turn in opposite directions, there is no need for a tail rotor to provide stability as in a helicopter. The wing tilts the rotors between airplane and helicopter modes and generates lift in the airplane mode. The Osprey can convert smoothly from helicopter mode to airplane mode in as few as 12 seconds. The major advantages of the Osprey over a helicopter are Longer range, the Osprey can fly from 270 to 580 miles, 453 to 933 kilometers. Higher speed, the Osprey's top speed is 315 miles per hour, 507 kilometers per hour, which is twice as fast as a helicopter's top speed. Increased cargo capacity, the Osprey can carry 10,000 pounds, 4,536 kilograms, of cargo or 24 troops. The advantage of the Osprey over an airplane is that it can take off, hover and land like a helicopter. This makes it more versatile than an airplane for such missions as moving troops to remote areas, especially those without landing strips, or conducting long-range rescue operations at sea. As mentioned above, the Osprey has two rotors with three bladed, 38-foot, 11.6-meter, propellers. Each propeller is driven by an Allison A1107C turboshaft engine that is capable of producing over 6,000 horsepower. Each engine drives its own rotor and transfers some power to a mid-wing gearbox. This gearbox drives the tilting mechanism. 
In the event of an engine failure, the Osprey is capable of running on only one engine. In this case, power from the remaining engine is distributed to the two rotors through an interconnecting drive shaft. The Osprey has 16 fuel tanks, 10 integrated into the wings and 6 in the fuselage. The feed tanks directly supply the engines with fuel from the other tanks, and fuel transfer is automatic. As the fuel flows from the tanks, pressurized nitrogen gas fills the tanks to reduce the possibility of fire. Depending upon the configuration of the Osprey, it can hold from 1,450 to 3,640 gallons, 5,489 to 13,779 liters, of fuel. The cockpit of the Osprey holds a pilot and co-pilot. In addition, there is a fold-down seat in the center behind the pilots for a flight engineer. The instrument panels have multifunctional displays, similar to the new glass cockpit of the Space Shuttle. The displays hold information about the engines, such as oil pressure, temperatures, and hydraulic pressures, and flight, such as fuel data, attitude, and engine performance. There are also keypads used to interact with the flight computer and sticks used to control the flight maneuvers. The Osprey is equipped with multiband radios, AM, FM, UHF, VHF, for voice transmission and radio reception. It also has navigational beacons and radios, radar altimeters and an internal intercom slash radio system for communications among the crew and troops on board. The Osprey can hold up to 24 troops and carry up to 20,000 pounds, 9,072 kilograms, in its cargo bay, which is 5.7 feet wide by 5.5 feet high by 20.8 feet long, 1.72 by 1.68 by 6.35 meters. The cargo bay has fold-down seats along the walls and a ramp that is used to load or deploy cargo and troops. Deployment can also take place in the air by parachute. In addition to the 20,000 pounds load in the cargo bay, the Osprey has an external hook and winch system that allows it to carry up to 15,000 pounds, 6,803 kilograms, of cargo in tow. To understand how the Osprey flies, the basic thing to understand is that airplane wings create lift by deflecting air downward, benefiting from the equal and opposite reaction that results. Helicopters do the same thing with blades, which are rotating wing shapes like the airfoils of an airplane wing. Helicopter blades are thinner and narrower than airplane wings because they have to rotate so fast. These rotating wings are mounted on a central shaft. When the shaft is spun, lift is created. When the Osprey is ready to take off, its rotors are in a vertical position. With the rotors mounted on the wings, it looks like a two-bladed helicopter. When the Osprey is in helicopter mode, on takeoff, landing and when hovering, the rotors generate lift. While in flight, the Osprey's rotors move down to a horizontal position. In this position, it is the wings that generate lift, 
like on a traditional airplane, and the rotors function as they do in a propeller aircraft. The Osprey lands like a helicopter by reversing the process, raising the rotors from a horizontal to a vertical position.